Since the beginning of the British Empire, Freemasonry has been ever-present in its story. The first Grand Lodge was created in 1717 in London, and ever since, Freemasonry was at the beating heart of the British Empire. The struggle between the ideals of Freemasonry and the realities of the British class system and racist imperialism would haunt Freemasonry in the British Empire well into the 20th century. The spread of Freemasonry in the Empire was mainly through military lodges. Military lodges were lodges which did not meet in a fixed location, but instead were attached to a military unit and went wherever the unit went. Oftentimes, individual regiments would end up with two or even up to ten lodges attached to them, with warrants from multiple Grand Lodges. Military lodges on station would initiate locals wherever the British conquered, and those initiates would go on to found their own permanent lodges. The British Empire did more to spread the craft than perhaps any other institution. However, the constant struggle between the ideals of universal brotherhood and the realities of a colonizing empire tore at the fabric of British Freemasonry. Different lodges responded differently to this tension. Some lodges would blackball all non-white candidates, especially in India. Others were more enlightened in their thinking and sought to spread the craft to men of all races. Muslims, Hindus, Native Americans, Africans, and Caribbean Islanders were all initiated into various lodges in the empire. Ultimately, the ideals of equality and universal brotherhood prevailed. Today, long after the British Empire has receded into the past, there are Grand Lodges in India, South Africa, New Zealand, and other former parts of the Empire. The global spread of Freemasonry can be attributed almost entirely to the British Empire, and though the future of Masonry is moving in a different direction, it would not be able to do so without the work of the Imperial Freemasons.